So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today's video is a follow up video to show you how to quickly block updates on your Amazon Fire TV device. Now this can be any Fire TV device that's on Android, so your Fire TV Stick Lite, Fire TV Stick 4K, 4K Max, even your Fire TV Cube, this should work on. And the reason we wanna do this is because we already know that Amazon is in the process of locking down their system, meaning no third party applications, disabling applications, and just making it harder for you to sideload on your device. The way they're gonna be able to push that to your device is via update, so you wanna stop the updates from happening. So we're gonna jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so before we jump into it, quick disclaimer, I just wanna make sure the folks that's watching this know what to expect. If your Fire TV device, whether it's a stick, whether it's the cube, the light, if it's on a current version of Fire TV OS, this will not work. This only works if you have a pending update. So if you have an update that's pending, you wanna hold off on that and then watch this video all the way through and then follow the steps carefully. Can't reiterate this enough. Uh, I know a lot of folks gonna hit the comment saying that this did not work for you, but more than likely this did not work because you are on a current version of Fire TV OS. So hopefully everyone understands. Um, and if you have any additional questions, just drop that in the comments as well. First thing, we will need to install the downloader application. So this is pretty straightforward. I know a lot of people already have downloader, but for the folks that don't, so we're gonna go to the app store and we're just gonna search for downloader. Again, this is only working for Fire TV devices that's on a version of Android. Right, so we're just gonna search for downloader. Big orange icon, cannot miss it. Go ahead and install it. Next, we wanna make sure the developer options is turned on. And I know a lot of you folks already have it on, but for the folks that don't, I wanna make sure I go through the entire process. To do that, you're gonna go all the way to the right. You're gonna go to your settings. You're gonna go to My Fire TV. Now, if this is your first time doing this, developer options will not be there. All you'll see is about, then it'll go to legal compliance, sleep, restart. So you won't see developer options if this is your first time doing this. So what you wanna do is click on about, and it should highlight the type of Fire TV stick you have. In this case, this is the 4K Max. And what you wanna do is just tap on the OK button or the center button seven times. Now, again, seven times, you should see it start counting down you got three more steps to unlock um, once you're done it's it's going to tell you that you are now a developer now once you see that at the bottom that you're now a developer you're going to go back and now you should see developer options click on that and you're going to go down to install unknown apps click on that all right so now you should see that downloader is in this area it will be off by default you're going to go ahead and click on it turn it on and we're gonna go ahead and back out again. So once we do that, we are gonna go ahead and launch the download application click OK. And we're gonna put in this URL just like you see it here. So it's gonna be tiny.cc forward slash D3 KR001. All right, so it should look exactly like that. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Um, once you put in that URL, go ahead and hit go. And that should start downloading immediately. Uh, we'll just give it a couple seconds. It's only 2.9 megabytes. All right, once it's downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and click install. All right, instead of clicking open, we're gonna click done. And what that's gonna allow us to do is just delete that extra APK file that we no longer need. So go ahead and delete that. And we're gonna confirm. And now we're just gonna go back home. So now we're gonna go ahead and launch the NetGuard application. All right, we're gonna go ahead and agree. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is go to the top right. We're gonna go ahead and click the three dots. We're gonna go to settings. And we're gonna go to advanced options. And where it says manage system apps, we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Now we're gonna go back to the home screen for NetGuard. So the next thing we're gonna do is navigate down to device software OTA. So this is in alphabetical order. So 
Um, let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and disable the network as well as the Wi-Fi. So both icons should be red. So now we're gonna scroll down again to system updates and we're gonna disable that as well. And right, again, this can take a while. All right, there it is right there. You can see those are already disabled, so we're just gonna leave them as is. And last thing we're gonna do, guys, is go to the top. And last thing we're gonna do is go to the top, and you can see the two that we disabled are up top. And this toggle, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. All right, NetGuard uses local VPN filter, click OK. OK, we're going to ask again, and we're going to click OK. So now we're going to go ahead and restart our device. All right, so now we're going to go in and we're going to attempt to do an update and see what happens. All right, we're going to go to My Fire TV. Click on about. And we're gonna check for update. And so it is doing a lot of thinking, so I think it's working. And you can see we have an update error and this is gonna essentially block updates from your Fire TV device. Now again, this will only work if you don't have an update pending. If you've already updated to the latest version, you won't see the option to disable software OTA. So that's how you know that you've already updated. But if you have an update pending, this should work. Again, this will work on any Fire TV device, Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire TV Lite, whatever the case is. Of course, the revert back is gonna be the same process. You can go into the application. And um, the good thing about this is that these will be up top. <laughs> so you can just go ahead, enable them. You can see they come on. And then you go ahead and disable this guy, restart your fire device, and you're back where you started. So let me know in the comment section if this worked for you. Like I said, this will only work if your device is not up to date. I can't say that enough because I know uh, some folks are going to say in the comments that they can't see um, the option to disable software OTA. So if you've already updated, this will not work for you. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from me, streaming news, streaming reviews, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell. Make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway.